everybody. Hello. Hello. Um, welcome to the first, and I think the only episode, of the Finding Home podcast special. My name is Jen Suk Fong Lee. I'm an author, and I'm the author of the brand new book, Finding Home, The Journey of Immigrants and Refugees. And I've written a bunch of other things, too, for adults and kids, including uh, my books, Chinese New Year and The Animals of Chinese New Year. So what we're doing today with this podcast special is we're celebrating the launch of Finding Home, which is being published as I speak. We're also celebrating the launch of the brand new Orca Think series, which are a series of books that ask questions about current and complicated topics for children so they can become informed and engaged global citizens, which is awesome. Um, so including uh, Finding Home, there are going to be books um, on homelessness, animal welfare, girls in social media, and healthy environments written by some pretty awesome authors. So you can look out for that in the next year or so. Um, I am recording this in Vancouver, which is on the unceded and traditional territories of the Musqueam, Squamish, and Tsleil-Waututh First Nations. Um, and since I wrote a book about immigration and refugees and migration, I think it's important to note um, that I am certainly a settler here on these lands and we're grateful to be here. Um, so you guys might know me as the co-host of another podcast, Can't Lit, which I do with the lovely Dina Delbukia. And you might think that I am the host here today, which I am kind of, but I am being joined uh, by someone who's going to be act asking the actual questions, asking me questions, in fact. And that person is a very special person. It's my son, Oscar. Say hi, Oscar. Hello. <laughs> Oscar, how old are you? 10. 10, almost 11. Um, he is my best supporter, my best critic, um, and he's pretty cool. I like him a lot. Um, so what Oscar's going to do is he's going to step into the role of interviewer today and ask me some questions about writing and finding home and everything Maybe you wanted to know about me and my books. Are you ready, Oscar? You ready? Sure. Okay. okay. Ask me some questions, dude. Why did you decide to write Finding Home? Why did I decide to write Finding Home? I'll tell you why. Immigrants and refugees and um, people who are fleeing, let's just say, difficult cir circumstances because of war or poverty, um, those people who are looking for a better home are often in the news. We see things... Um, like, for example, uh, a couple of years ago, there was a group of um, thousands of people from South America traveling north into the United States. And it was, you know, a big news item because they were walking and there were thousands of them, lots of families, lots of children. And I think seeing these news topics um, can be really confusing because I think immigration is something that is difficult to understand. And it can be really confusing for kids. And I just wanted to write a book that kind of demystified um, what being an immigrant or being a refugee actually means. And what it really means is you're leaving one home to try to find a home that's better and that's going to make you and your family happier. It's pretty simple in some ways, but also very complicated in others. What do you think? Sounds good. I, I, <laughs> guess, I guess. Do you have another question? Yes. Was it a lot of work to write? Yeah, there was a lot of research. I did a lot of research on like international immigration policy <laughs> and I checked places like the United Nations Refugee Agency and I looked at a lot of reports so that part was really difficult to write and the other part that was really difficult to write is that these are really like adult things like immigration policies and the history of immigration and trying to translate that for kids was pretty hard but what I think made the writing more fun is that I got to write um, about people who are actual immigrants, like actual um, families who've come to either Canada, the United States, or Australia uh, searching for a better life. And I really do think that the writing of that helps um, kids understand um, a topic. They kind of have to see that there are actual people behind these topics, and I think that made it a lot easier. And it was fun, too. And also, I should say, the illustrator for the book is Drew Shannon, and um, he did the greatest illustrations they were so good and that part was super fun because i actually didn't have to draw anything he just drew them and i looked at them and said they're awesome please let's use them <laughs> did you want to ask me a question about i think you had another question about me what if i'd chosen to be illustrator is that what it was what's yes. the what is the question what if you had chosen to be an illustrator 
Well, I don't think I'd be very good at it. I'm not very good at drawing. Oscar likes to make fun of me because um, sometimes I draw people and they look like they have really hairy legs, for example, and he <laughs> he's laughing. <laughs> you can laugh out loud. It's okay. <laughs> He, like that one person I drew had very hairy legs and was riding a horse. And Oscar, okay, tell me the truth. How bad was that drawing? <laughs> he had a Speedo. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, he was wearing a Speedo. Was that a good drawing? I mean, the top half was good. <laughs> so I don't think I would have been a very good illustrator. Although I would have really liked it. I like drawing. I'm just not good at it. Oscar <laughs> is uh, pretty good at drawing, right? Would you like to illustrate a book? Yes. But you would illustrate the book that you wrote, right? Probably. Probably. He also a writer. Oscar likes to write books. Um, what's your next question there? Bud. Bud. Uh, what? Where do you get the ideas for your books? Ideas can, for books can come from anywhere. Once I was at the uh, Vancouver Art Gallery and I saw photographs by like a particular photographer and I like thought they were pretty cool. So then I decided to write a book based on his photographs. So like truly ideas can come from anywhere. The idea for this one was just really about watching news stories and thinking about how to explain those things to kids. Cause I actually thought Oscar, how do I, would I explain it to you? And that's how, um, I wrote this particular book because you're about the age. That's the right readership for this book anyway. Right. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Um, good question. What's the book that was inspired by pictures like photographs called? Oh, that book was called The Better Mother. It's about oh, an artist. Oh, yeah. that one. Yeah, about an artist and a dancer, and they become friends. Yeah. What advice would you give kids who want to be writers? First, you got to read a lot so you know what kind of books you like. That's really important. And then so you can figure out what kind of style of books you want to write. Like, for example, Oscar reads a lot of comic books. And does that mean you want to write comic books? No. What kind of books do you want to write? I'm writing, like, a graphic novel kind of thing well graphic novels are related to comic books i mean i guess yeah sort of but you write you read a lot of graphic novels too right yes yeah so it's important to read a lot of books and i think it's also important to practice um it's really important to practice how to write a proper sentence it's really important to practice your punctuation all of that is necessary not very fun sometimes but it's important to do that and it's really important to take the time and just be creative give yourself empty space and time every day to try to write something cool. It doesn't have to be fancy. It doesn't have to be anything you show anybody, but give yourself time to come up with good ideas and write them down. And you don't have to be worried about making mistakes because everything can be fixed in editing. Everything. <laughs> I know that. Okay. Anyway, what is the best thing about being an author? Well, I get to do podcasts with my kid. That's pretty cool. Um, I like best talking to people who've read my books that is the coolest thing and then like talking to my readers and also like signing books for people i like doing that did you know the first book i ever signed for someone i, I spelled my own name wrong <laughs> <laughs> oh i do like making would you write people jen sock fong, 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 please? i don't remember i don't remember jen jen something <laughs> I, but I did spell my name wrong. I had to cross it out and write it again. Sock foam Lee. Jen Smelly Socks Lee, maybe is what I wrote. Uh, Jen Stinky Pants Lee. Maybe it was Jen Stinky Pants Lee. Anyway, do you have any other questions? No. No. Well, hey, everybody. Thanks for listening to the Finding Home podcast special with me, Jen Sook Fong Lee, and my son, Oscar. Thanks for joining us, and I hope you read our book, and I hope that you learn some things about people who travel around the world looking for a better home. So we're going to say bye. Say bye, Oscar. Goodbye. Bye. <laughs>